Yeah. Yeah. We back. It's MRI man. So I got a question. Give me some tips on the first day of clinicals. And that's for MRI. So we're going to break that down. Uh, first of all, hit the like button, man. I need more likes on my videos. Subscribe. Check out the MRI man Etsy store. If you want to support me, buy something. Support your boy. Come on. Let's go. All right. First tip, simple. I'm gonna keep this simple. Show up on time. Look good, get your hair cut, get your hair done. Brand new scrubs, notebook, pen, right mentality, attitude, have some energy, be friendly, be approachable, eye contact. Treat these patients, because they're gonna ask you to screen a patient Treat these patients good, man. Your patient, your customer service, patient care needs to be on point. You need to be communicating very well with these patients and communicating with your uh, trainer, okay? That is top priority number one. And uh, yeah, man, that's what I like to see. You know, I've been in the game, what? since uh fucking 2017 so it's been some time man eight nine years whatever and uh i've seen new techs come and go i've trained many and um i like to see that 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 patient care i like to see that that i'm gonna call it customer service because essentially they are they are kind of like customers they're patients but they're also like we're getting their business especially if you're an outpatient they're coming back and if you treat them bad they will not come back so it is, you need that, uh, a great customer service, man. That's what I like to see. I like to see, you know, these students and clinicals treating these patients well, man. Like just, you know, you don't have to be a robot and like, this is the MRI machine. It breaks it down. No, you don't have to like, you don't have to talk like that. You don't have to, you know, just be cat, you know, be a little casual, talk to them like a family member, you know, ask them simple questions. Don't joke too much. There's got to be a good balance. You know what I mean? Um, try to make that connection there. Uh, you don't have to be so uptight and like do things like line for line. Like this is MRI. This creates a magnetic field. And then we are going to give you the gadolinium. Like who the fuck talks like that? You know what I mean? And also this is probably number one, if not whatever, two, this is no order. But MRI safety is like really up there top priority you don't want to bring any metal in there you don't want to do anything stupid as soon as you do one dumb thing your trainer is gonna lose trust in you they already don't trust you but if you do some dumb shit in the beginning like the first day like you try to bring in like a mri un, you know unsafe wheelchair you try to bring in some scissors or your even if you bring your phone in there keys and you do some dumb shit like your trainer's already gonna be like, all right, red flag. You're like, I can't trust you. And you're, it's gonna take a long time to get that trust back. Um, so be on that, you know, ask questions. And uh, some of you um, may have had some uh, lab work done. Uh, labs, as, as I mean, as like you had a class where you had a chance to like check out an MRI, maybe do a couple scans, like, you know, a lab like that. And you probably had the teacher showing you some things don't go to clinicals and be like well this is not how we did it in labs this is not this is not shut the hell up that's how they do it there and that's how it is so don't go in there trying to change protocols trying to tell them how to do their job that's how they do it there if they're doing some unsafe shit um you know talk to your your clinical uh coordinator and kind of you know go from there but you guys are going to see some shit that isn't always by the book. So I'm just letting you know. That's how it is out there. Everyone doesn't do shit by the book. But look, just stay safe. Make sure you're doing everything, you know, safely. That's the main thing. You know, you may see them. They're cutting protocols on this and that. That's probably how they do it there. So, you know, you go with the flow. Uh, don't get caught up in all the uh, the drama while you're doing your clinicals. You know what I mean? Just kind of try to avoid that. Um, don't get too clicked up with anybody there because you don't want to 
you know, be on the wrong side. Um, this is a, a, a base, essentially an interview for eight or nine months. And uh, the, the, the community of techs is very small. So try to leave a good impression, work hard. Um, if you're making a mistake, you know, you need to write that down and um, evaluate that and try not to do the same thing again. So that, those are my, my uh, quick tips for you. Um, it's just showing up. You got to show up and do the work. And MRI is tough, man. It, it really, it takes over a year, I think, for someone to be decent. You know what I mean? To be honest with you. Um, don't shy away from the hard scans, you know, get on it, get on it, man. And, um, try to know your basic anatomies, you know what I mean? Like know where the gallbladder is, bile ducts, you know, the simple positioning, you know what I mean? Basic anatomy. Uh, you're going to be straight. Um, if you don't know, just say you don't know, don't pretend, uh, don't show up with an attitude. Don't, you know, try not to show your frustration. Um, weekly, you know, check in with the, the trainer and be like, Hey, what can I work on? You know, what, you know, what, all, what do you see? You know, you may have holes in your game. I always ask those questions because some trainers will not tell you, they will not say it to your face and you will not find out to like the quarterly review and they dump all this stuff on you and you're like, Holy shit. I didn't even know. So you should ask like, you know, Hey, what am I doing wrong? You know what I got to work on? And you know, it's, it's going to be tough, man. I ain't gonna lie. You know what I mean? But if they can remember, you know, they were new once as well. Like I was new, you know, of course I'm not, I'm not going to be the greatest when I'm new. You know what I mean? Like I'll make mistakes. Uh, but I've been in the game a long time, man. Like I said, over like over eight years. So I, I would say that, you know, I'm on the top of the food chain, son. Like I know what I'm doing and yeah, I mean, to me, to me, I've, I've basically perfected MRI, man. And I feel like MRI is so complex and people have different views of it. You know what I mean? You may work with a guy that wants to, you know, do manipulate protocols. You may work with another guy that, you know, we're trying to pump these MRIs out, you know, make the pictures look good and we got to like pump them out. So. You got to see the vibe of the, 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 the clinic, you know, is this, are we pumping out scans? Are you giving me 45 minutes per scan to make it perfect? You know, high res, like, what are we doing here? Like, you know what I mean? You'll kind of, you kind of feel the flow and that's just the MRI business. And there's a lot of businesses like that where it's just, it's fast paced, you know, pumping them out. And, uh, I, I can adapt to whatever, uh, there's gotta be a, a balance there. And, uh, I like to see myself as the, you know, well-rounded, you know what I mean? I'm not the best ever at, you know, building protocols, but I can, I can manipulate them. I can, I can make things look good, but I'm a workhorse and I feel like I have a strong mentality and I can carry a heavy, heavy workload. You know what I mean? I feel like I'm a soldier in the game. And, uh, I got, I got numbers to prove it. You know what I mean? Um, and yeah, dude, I feel like my customer service is prime. You know what I mean? My patient care is prime, like the way I handle and I, and the year, the years show it, you know, look how long I've been in the game. Um, I see some new people coming out, you know, they're in their first year, second year, you know, you know, talk to me in five years. Let's see how, how, how well you can hang. And, um, you know, like I said, I, I pumped, I, I used to pump out like 25 patients a day. I've done that. You know, I, I'm a fucking beast, dude. Like, and it's, you can't fucking break me. You know what I mean? And I feel like I, 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 I can, I can work anywhere. I feel like that my skills are that, are that well. And, uh, after people work with me, they go work with others. They see the difference. You know what I mean? They're like, fuck, like, damn, but Kwame was a beast. There wasn't really anyone like that. So enough rambling. Leave a comment below. I'll answer it. I'm making a lot of videos right now. Now's the time. You know what I mean? If you guys got any questions, hit me up and, uh, got some other cool podcasts I'm doing in the future. 
Um, I'm, I'm starting to hop on more channels. You know, I, I get hit up all the time. Do my podcast. And my, you know, I'm like, but I got an interesting one coming up. Um, they're, they're from the UK. So your boys, uh, your boys worldwide. Anyway, like, subscribe. Going to work. Let's get it.